explain. There's like a map code. Map over voltage. And the map is going all wonky. We can see it on the scan gauge. And the wiring harness has been hacked to like a couple times. By someone who's colorblind. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of trying to track down anything in this harness, we actually have another harness that we can put in. So instead of trying to mess around with this harness, we actually have another engine harness that we can put in. It's uh, slightly more tucked and cleaner. That, that's broken right on a... Right, right on, on a, a connector. Right yeah. on a connection joint. Yeah, so there, we found a wire that's actually broken down here. Okay, so there's a wire that's broken. And it's like orange and green. And on our map sensor up here, we actually have an orange and green wire. But this is like broken straight on the connector and would be really pain in the ass. I can solder it once it's out of the car and then I'll have another spare harness, but... Yeah. It was tapped into years ago for an Apexi SAFC. Yeah, and like, anybody was tuning. the orange and green has been tapped into here and everything too, so... It's probably better that we just replace this harness while we have a good one. And what was happening is the car actually like stumbled really hard and just started overfueling itself and then wouldn't run and sounded like balls. Like that. No fatties. Wow, you like to party. I do. I think once we get it fixed and if it works, we should do burn squeals. It does the burn squeals. Burn squeals. Burn squeals. I've been known to do a burn squeal or two with these tires. Yeah, they're burn squeal tires. I can see, it already looks like they've been burn squealed. Yeah. This one's for you, Leahy. You're the best goddamn trailer park supervisor ever. I'm getting drunk tonight, Randy. Oh, that song's stuck in my head now. I wish it wasn't like monetized so I could like use it in a video. I don't think it is. It probably is. No, because it's a stemmed remix. It's on SoundCloud. Oh no, this one's the actual... Yeah, but if you find the, act, the automatic remix, yeah. I don't think it's monetized. this game anymore. Yeah, it is. I can pull the intake and pull off. No. I'm just gonna lay it here to see. What the fuck? I just need to see how big the ratchet is you're using to get those 10 mil bolts off. For these bolts right here. Oh, I'm used to having big tools in my hand, so. <laughs> so I'll keep it up in the garage. Yeah, the cock's too big. <laughs> that means I have a big dick, not other people's dicks. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah, whatever, man. Doesn't matter, because we got the harness out. But. What? What do you mean, but? Air conditioning. Okay, there's, there's no AC thing. plug on the other one. And this is a street car, so it needs an air conditioning plug. So we need to slice this plug into the inner, other harness. Because Tokyo's gay like that. No, oh, because air conditioning is for street cars. <laughs> for <what one? laughs> I'll fucking unload one on you. This is also what happened last time the Neon was at the track. This is like a drive shaft shop stage three axle. It's just sheared off. The other pieces here. Oh yeah, that's the other piece. Bam! But drive shaft shop came through hard. Second-hand axles, multiple years old. They charged me 50 bucks for shipping and sent me the parts to repair. They just sent them this outer cup with the shaft on it for free. Well, you had to pay for shipping, but the rest was free. Shout out to Drive Shaft Shop. High quality shit. Yeah, that's right, Drive Shaft Shop. Sell me your Ford 9-inch rear end kit for my Supra real cheap, please. Come on. What's going on here, Martha? Cooking. Nick cut up all kinds of peppers. When I touch my dick, burns. That's, That's what she said. You video my ass? No, I'm video you soldering. It's not working, bro. Yeah, 
It might start now, maybe. Taste that. Well, let me put this jack down, because it doesn't need to be up anymore. Oh! A little sour. <laughs> Three ounces of liquor, man. You never know. It. I know. <laughs> it's, it's mostly vodka. <laughs> and water, a little bit of lemon juice, and, and coconut Ciroc. So more vodka oh, on top God. of the other vodka. Yeah. You party hard. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have the harness all back in. We have to see if it'll start now, I guess. I'm waiting for HP to boot up. I can start it, I guess, without it. Yeah. Probably. Well, I don't think she's got anything to do with starting it. I just want to see if it'll start at all. Give her the onion. Come on, big man. Oh. Injector plug, Timber. Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Alright, your scan gauge isn't plugged in. Turbocharger, supercharger, bypass, solenoid, open. Yeah, those are the valves you took out. Ambient air temp sensor, yeah. high. Uh, that's a pending because I have disabled. You know, Turbocharger, have supercharger, charger, wastegate those. solenoid. Yeah, you Idle that air off. control yeah, system not circuit. Not <laughs> So what I did was I took the connector off the old harness because it's kind of busted and then I just plugged it into the, the harness here. Microphone on? Yeah, and then I plugged it into the sensor and then it worked. So it's in this plug somewhere that doesn't work. And it's probably in where these lines get all bent up and chewed up. So yeah, you gotta splice this one back in and then, then it should work. So let's go for a drive before I smoke myself in here. Okay. It's not reading RPMs on this. It's driving better though. Seems to. Well, no, once I get up to temperature. Because remember before I made it around the corner? Yeah. And then once it kind of got up to temperature and switched open to closed loop, it uh, might reserve. Read the trouble codes again. I didn't know there was real time logging on this thing. steps. We had to take the watt box out because the new harness doesn't have the watt box set up for it. Rolling second gear burns by hills. Burns quills. Burns quills. Well it runs and drives and we have a, a code for idle air control system still, but I don't know why it's still there. Anyways, we fixed the LOL Neon again, but make sure to tune in a month from now because it'll be broken again. On winter tires though. On winter tires. Burns wheels.